Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and you're watching Jasmine It Up. And today's video I have for you guys is another end of the month empties. If you guys aren't familiar what empties are, basically I collect all of my beauty, trash, makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, a whole bunch of great things and I review it for you guys. I have a formed opinion on it because I use these items up completely. Either I use them up because I actually like them or I use them up because I spent my money on them. So without further ado, I'm gonna go through my trash and give you guys a mini reviews on each of these items so let's go ahead and get started I do want to apologize in advance if you do hear my squeaky chair if I'm moving in it a lot I'm in my computer chair and it squeaks what can I say <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start us off with some hand soap so I purchase most of mine from Bath and Body Works sometimes I purchase them from TJ Maxx and get different brands but my favorite is from Bath and Body Works specifically the foaming ones so this first one I have is a fresh strawberry tart with essential oils and these notes is a fresh picked strawberries orange zest and bergamot this one was awesome I I believe we kept this one in our kitchen. I love the way this one smells and like I said the gentle foaming hand soap is our favorite. So the next soap I have here is also from Bath and Body Works but this is their gentle gel hand soap. This one is not our favorite. We actually go through these a lot quicker. So this is in Boardwalk Vanilla Cone and the notes in here is marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. So the packaging on this was really cute. We did keep this in our kitchen and like I said for some reason the gels we just go through them so much faster and so I won't be repurchasing these anymore just the gentle foaming hand soaps so another gentle foaming hand soap another one we kept in the kitchen this one is from white barn this is sunshine and lemons and the notes in here is grapefruit and lemon of course so this one we love for the kitchen anything lemon scented we love 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 for the kitchen that way it's super citrusy and fresh so this one was awesome we go through a lot of soaps in our kitchen because obviously we use our kitchen the most we use our kitchen more than our restrooms and I'm working in our kitchen every single day so I fly through a lot of soaps in our kitchen so the next one we kept this one in our upstairs bathroom the one that me and my sister share this one is an island margarita and the notes in here is a fresh squeezed lime and sea salt and this one was really good I love the tropical scent of this so all of those four hand soaps were from Bath and Body Works and we emptied all of these so these are our first empties next empty I have here is my disgusting loofah this is just your friendly rum Reminder to don't forget to change your loofah if you guys use these I purchased mine from Dollar Tree or from Walmart most of the time I don't spend more than a dollar on my loofahs and this one is gigantic. It's donezo Make sure you change your loofah every 30 days I have two more Bath & Body Works items here. These are both sprays. The first one here is one of my top three favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. This is in Paris Amour. This is their fine fragrance mist. This was super awesome. I had this in a project pan and I was able to use all of this up. I put it in my project because I have a backup of it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite scents. Highly, highly recommend. And the second one, I used this one, you know, to go to bed. After I took a shower, I would spray myself. Super, super refreshing. I love it. This is in Coconut Lime Breeze. This one smelled super 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 coconutty very very fresh like I said before so I was able to use both of these guys up all right next item I have here this is the Equate Beauty Cotton Swabs this has 750 of them in here and I use these every single day obviously to clean my ears but also to help me with my makeup and I do want to apologize again not for my chair but because of the lighting I'm filming in front of both of my windows and the sun just keeps on coming in and out something I cannot control but I was able to use all of these up I either purchased the Equate brand or I purchased the Assured brand which is from Dollar Tree so I was able to use all of these cotton swabs up next item I have here this is a bathroom item this is from pure silk and this is just a shaving cream and this is in raspberry mist so I was able to use this up because I'm the only one that uses shaving cream like we each have our own shower products our own shower gel you know shampoo whatever because this one was mine it took me forever to go through this so I rarely ever have to purchase shaving cream so this one I've had for a long time and I'm so glad that it's done so um, I feel like I've been working on this forever speaking of shower Shower products this is my head and shoulders smooth and silky two-in-one 24-hour first control shampoo so I go through a lot more conditioner than I do shampoo so I only buy the regular size shampoos compared to the jumbo size like conditioners that I purchased but I love the head and shoulders brand I love the way it refreshes my scalp and it feels really good and also they smell really really awesome so I do really enjoy this head and shoulders I would highly recommend this and I definitely have repurchased this before next item I have here this is the so 
Soak in the Sun Shower Gel. This is from Bath & Body Works. The key notes in here are Sun Ripened Peach, Pink Prosecco, and Blonde Woods. This was really good. I absolutely love the shower gels from Bath & Body Works. Personally, I would not repurchase this scent, Soak in the Sun. It was not one of my favorites, but I was able to use this entire container up. I never ever purchased a full price items from Bath & Body Works. I always wait for their 50 to 75% off sales. They always have them or I always purchase them when I have a coupon. So this one is all done with and I definitely have repurchased their shower gels. I also have a deodorant here. This is definitely another repurchase. This is the Old Spice Pure Sport deodorant. This one was not my favorite because this one was like a gel. I do prefer the powder deodorant. If you guys are able to see that, like that blue is like a gel consistency and I prefer the powders over the gel because I just feel like they last longer on me. So I definitely would repurchase the Old Spice but I would prefer the powder deodorant over this gel like formula but I do love Old Spice it is my favorite deodorant I always use men's deodorant if you guys did not know so this one is all used up all right I do have five sheet masks to share with you guys all of these I would 100% repurchase the first two I have here are from Emoji Nation I'm pretty sure you can get these at five below but two different emojis the one is tea tree and this one is aloe vera different emojis that are on the sheet mask but these are awesome super super hydrating would definitely recommend and they're so affordable and the next one I have here this one is from dermal this is an aloe collagen essence mask this one was really good and the next sheet mask I have here this one is a cactus hydrating face mask this was super super cute I got this for a dollar as you guys can see I think I actually only paid 50 cents for this mask but anyway this one is from taste beauty is the brand this one was really cute and last but not least I have this one from the creme shop this is the hyaluronic acid face mask and this one was super super moisturizing I love the creme shop face mask so those are all five sheet masks that I use for this month Alrighty, I do have a few skincare items to share with you guys. The first one being this face wash. This one is from Cl Clinique. This is their liquid facial soap for oily skin. I picked this up from TJ Maxx. This one was really good, especially if you use this during the summer and you have oily skin. I have a couple face washes in my collection at the moment, so I don't need to purchase this. But if I found this at TJ Maxx, I definitely would, especially for the summer heat. This will help balance out all of the oils on my face. So this one I would definitely recommend if you guys have oily skin. The next one I have here is one of my favorite face washes. This is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This is super affordable. You can get this literally anywhere and it smells like Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. It smells really, really good. It's gentle on your skin, awesome for people who have sensitive skin, but literally for any skin types, this is awesome. I highly, highly recommend this facial wash. And my last skincare item that I have to share with you guys is this gel moisturizer. And this one is from It's Skin, is the brand of this skincare line. This one was really good. I do prefer a gel form especially during the day. I think it works really well considering I have oily skin. At night, I like a more nourishing, thicker cream to moisturize with or even with the oil, but this one was awesome for the daytime. So those are the three skincare items that I use for this month. Alrighty, I have a few hair care items next. This first one being the Argan Magic Intense Hair Oil. This one I picked up at TJ Maxx for $6.99. This was awesome. I absolutely love the way this guy smelled. I would definitely repurchase it. I've just gotten used to using hair oils and I love massaging this at the ends of my hair, but also just throughout my hair. I feel like it makes my hair super healthy. So I would definitely repurchase this and I love the Argan Magic line. It smells so good and they have great products. Another oil that I was using for my hair, this is the Ordinary 100 organic cold press Moroccan argan oil. This smells like a medicine that I had to take when I was younger. Not Robitussin but one of those like cherry medicinal disgusting medicines that you had to take when you were younger. The pediatrician used to give it to you so this was like a slap in the face from the past. I don't know why this triggered me so much but I hated the way this smells. I originally purchased this for my face for a facial oil at the end of the night but the smell triggered so much that I could not put this all over my face so I just decided to use this in my hair like I said I would massage it on the ends and just throughout my hair in general but I would not repurchase this I do not like anything that I've tried from the ordinary yet if you guys have like a holy grail item that you've tried from the ordinary the brand definitely comment it down below but all of the items that I've tried so far I have not fallen in love with so I would not repurchase this one this one I just used because I spent my money on it and the packaging broke if you guys are able to see that right there it literally just sits in my drawer and the next thing I know there's oil spilled 
everywhere. All on my things are all greasy and oily. It was so annoying. So <laughs> not only did I not like the packaging, but I also did not like the product. So I would not purchase this one again. And the next item is technically a hair care item. This is the um, Kennet MD hair care shampoo. This one is just a little sample that I picked up at a hotel or at a resort. It's a shampoo, but I actually use this to clean my makeup brushes. I love using these little travel size for my makeup brushes that you get at like hotels or resorts because if you don't use it, they end up throwing it away because they don't know what you did to the products. So usually I just take them, like the bar soaps and the shampoos and conditioners, and I just use them to clean my makeup brushes. So that's a pro tip for you guys. So nothing goes to waste. They're just gonna end up throwing it away anyway. Just take it and use it for your makeup brushes. And the last hair care item I have here, this one I definitely would repurchase. This is the Aussie Headstrong Volume Mousse. This one was awesome. I love everything that Aussie makes. I'm pretty sure I have not met an Aussie product that I didn't like yet. So this mousse was super awesome. I love the way Aussie products smell and this mousse, it made my hair crunchy but not too crunchy and it definitely helped with the frizz as well. So this one I would definitely recommend and repurchase. All right, I have some Bath and Body Works items left in the bucket and then I have a bunch of makeup to share with you guys. So the first one here, this is the Wallflower and this is in the scent A Thousand Wishes. This one I kept in my bedroom. This one smelled really, really good. A Thousand Wishes is one of my top three favorite scents. This one I would definitely recommend. Next Wallflower I have here, this one is in Peppermint Sugar Cookie. This one actually surprised me. I was running low on um, wallflowers, which is why I had to pull out a Christmas scented one, but this one smelled really, really good. I definitely would recommend this and I would pick this up this Christmas if it came out again. This wallflower I ended up putting in our laundry room. This one is in cinnamon sticks. This one also reminded me of Christmas time, but like I said, I was running out of wallflowers before my semi-annual sale haul, which was a, a little bit of go. So if you guys have not seen that, I will definitely link the semi-annual haul in the iCards for you guys. So I had to use up my Christmas one. So cinnamon stick I put in the laundry room. This one was all used up. And last but not least, I do not have the little glass wallflower, but I have the little tag here. And this one was in Hawaiian hibiscus. I also put this one in the laundry room. This one didn't have a strong scent. So if you guys are sensitive to stronger scents, I would definitely recommend this one. This one was just a little bit too light for me, but I was able to use this one up as well. Also from Bath and Body Works, I have this mini candle. This was in a project pan and this is in Georgia peach. I was able to use this little guy out. This was my last mini candle in my collection. I don't want to purchase these mini candles anymore because it has no scent there whatsoever. If I left this on my desk and left the room, I would have completely forgot that there was a candle lit because this just has no scent throw. So it's pretty unfortunate, but I'm so glad that I was able to use this little baby candle up. And last but not least from Bath and Body Works, I have this little tag here. This is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is the car fragrance refills. I have one of the car things in my car, obviously, um, but I change these oils out whenever I don't really smell them anymore or I see that the oil's getting a little bit drier, I'll go ahead and change it out. So right now I have Waikiki Beach Coconut and I love the way this one smells. Perfect for the summertime, super fresh and coconutty. I love this scent. So that is everything from Bath and Body Works. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup. That's everything I have left in the bucket. All right, first makeup item that I finished. This is the Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist and this is the Starberry scent. This one smells really, really good. I, at first I did not like the Continuous Setting Mist, but it has grown on me. I do have another one here of the Morphe and Jeffree Star setting mist in my makeup collection. I purchased two of them because I'm pretty sure they were discontinuing this line and all of the things were on sale so I took advantage of it and I purchased a couple of these. So I do have another one of these in my collection that I will use in the future but I'm glad that I was able to use the first one up and I did get a feel of the continuous setting mist. Like I said it wasn't a favorite at first but it definitely grew on me. You had to work with this guy a little bit but I love the way this one smelled. Next a makeup item that I used up this is the Maybelline The Colossal also Big Shot Waterproof Mascara. When I purchased this, I did not realize that it was waterproof. It definitely took me a while the first time to take off my mascara. I'm like, oh my god, why is this so hard to take off? What is this, waterproof? And then I looked at the packaging and was like, yeah, it's waterproof. So that was a coincidence, but you know what? I probably would not purchase it because it took me forever to try to get this off. Even with oils, like I had to work at it and I feel like I was just tugging on my eyelashes a little bit too much. The mascara was good. I would repurchase and try the non-waterproof one like just the regular one but the waterproof one I would not repurchase it was really really rough on my eyelashes next item I have in here was from a previous project pan this is the Santee 2-in-1 concealer and foundation this one I use to set my eyelids but I also use this to spot conceal to give me some extra coverage on some pimples or problem areas that I might have like I said this one was in a project pan so if you guys have not seen any of my project pans I will leave the entire playlist linked in the iCards for you guys another project pan 
and use up this is the elf clear brow and lash mascara one of the sides is for your eyelashes and one of them is for your eyebrows both of them being clear I use both of the sides for my eyebrows because I find no point in using clear mascara like I just don't understand that so I use both of these for my brows I would definitely recommend this one but I really really do prefer the wow brow from elf that one is way better and it has a tint to it it has fibers in it but this one is clear so depending if you want a clear brow gel or a tinted one both of them are really great though next makeup item I have here is a chapstick this is from Paul Frank this is the red velvet cheesecake this is just a chapstick I put this in my everyday makeup drawer and I was able to use it up that way but Carmex is definitely my favorite chapstick brand so this one was just using up because I had it in my collection and last but not least I have a primer here this is the AOA studio perfect filter face primer this one was super moisturizing this was only a dollar on the shop miss a website I would definitely recommend this if you guys purchase from that store this one was really moisturizing it felt like a lotion and I loved using this in conjunction with other primers like a pore filling one for example so this one was moisturizing and I would definitely recommend this one I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on that red button down below. There's also a bell next to it that you can click on to get notified when I upload new videos. I love filming empties videos for you guys, so you can check out my entire playlist. I will have that linked in the iCards for you guys, and all of my social media will be listed down below if you guys want to follow me too. Hope you guys have a great day.